Off its heels, Boutique going up there. On the inside is Baggy Eyes. Gracie May is just waiting for Boutique to flush out and now drag it into the race. Royal Supremes got off the fence and is now around the outside of Capo Dioro. Back there in the field, Von Coney. Miss Jelan has called it a day and dropped out last at the top of the running. Miss Jilly Philly levelled up to Mahulmo. Boutique grabbed them both and so did Gracie May. Over on the outside, Royal Supreme running on, but Gracie May with 150 left to travel. Led the away with Boutique sticking well. Royal Supreme can't win. Gracie May's got it shot to pieces. Draws away in the late stages. Gracie May and won by more than two to Boutique. Royal Supreme. About She's certainly been very honest in recent times. That hasn't been too far away so it must be great to get the victory today. Yeah for sure. Um, it's probably the first time she's had everything go away. She's sort of been a bit luckless uh, her whole career but um, lovely big mare and uh, beautiful ride by Chris. You know, give her a lovely ride, six one off, and had a had a beautiful cart up into the race. So um, happy to get the job done, and uh, hopefully she can keep going on with it. I think the impressive thing that she's shown in any distance she runs, she's still got that turn of foot, and we saw that today. Exactly. I, I think the race was sort of run to suit her today, but she sort of last time she ran here over the two thousand, I think she found the front with no pace in the race, and she got a bit lost. But uh, no, good win, and um, you know, hopefully she can sort of keep going on with it. And on the strength of today's effort, I think you know even 2400 probably wouldn't suit, wouldn't hurt her. Is she one that you think that with this confidence from the win, she can string a few together in this type of grade? I'd hope so. I mean, she's just been so luckless, and you know, winning confidence it's it's good for everybody. I think. And the confidence you mentioned, the ride from Chris Parnham, obviously he's ridden the double now as well. He's riding so well, isn't he? Yeah, without a doubt, he's uh, he's certainly quality and. Uh, He's, he's here for a few more weeks before he goes back to Melbourne, but uh, hope to get him on a few more. Certainly lucky to have him in town. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. The race. Chris, you're making it look very easy out there. Trevor Andrews uh, just alluded to your class. Uh, how'd you make that race? Um, yeah, everything sort of fell into place for us, and um, she switched off beautifully for us, which is um, very important in a staying race. Um, we had a lovely card into it, and... She sort of just wanted to run around a little bit in the straight, but um, pulled a bit from the left hand and she straightened up nicely and um, she was strong through the line. Just having a look at her then uh, when you were hopping off, she's a lovely big mare, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Um, you know, and she's probably been a bit unlucky not to win one this prep. Uh, she's run a couple of placings and, and probably been a bit unlucky not getting the best of runs, but um, no, that definitely suits her getting... Um, a bit of cover just off the speed and having that last crack at them. The form lines have been very strong this campaign and she's been without luck on some occasions. Was that the best turn of foot we've seen this campaign so far? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, riding a bit more conservatively um, allows her to have that better turn of foot. So um, I'd say in the future, that's the way we want to ride her. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Thanks, Adam.